Welcome to a special confinement edition of Making Music in Montessori. My name is Michael. Today I want to tell you about some practice activities you can do once you've given the presentation lesson for different rhythmic elements, which is linked in the description below. So, let's get into it. The first activity is just reading rhythms. I've tacked a four-beat rhythmic motive up here on the wall. Now, you can use cards, you can write it on a whiteboard, you could even use cards on the floor, or write it on the floor in popsicle sticks. There are lots of different options. So looking at this four-beat motive, we see that we have a ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Let's read that rhythm together. One, two, ready, go. And you can go the other way, too. Let's read it backwards. One, two, ready, go. Did you get it? Once they've clapped the rhythm correctly, mix it up. And have them read a different rhythm. One, two, ready, go. Nice. Now how about this one? One, two, ready, go. And so on. Now we can add a little bit of repetition with variety. I've tacked a grid of rhythms up here now, and there are different activities we can do just using this one grid. The first activity we can do with the grid is just read by row. Let's see. Let's read the rhythm in row one. One, two, ready, go. Ti ti sh ta ti 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 sh ta ti ti. Let's read the rhythm in row three. One, two, ready, go. Ta ti ti ta sh ta ti ti ta sh. Instead of going by row, you could point to different rhythms on the grid and have the children follow along. For example, I could go like this. All right, everyone, clap the rhythm that I point to. One, two, ready, go. And so on. You could use the grid to derive known songs by pointing to different rhythms that create a familiar rhythm pattern. For example, I'm thinking of a song that goes I missed. I'm thinking of a song that goes What song was that? You want to see it again? One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Rain, rain, go away. You could also do a kind of musical crossword puzzle with a grid like this. So, for example, I could say, I'm going to clap a rhythm that either goes across, down, or diagonal. Let's see if you can guess what the rhythm is. One, two, ready, go. What rhythm was that? Two possibilities. Yeah, it was this one. Ta, ti, ti, ta, sh. Or it was ta, ti, ti, ta, sh. Try this one. One, two, ready, go. Where was that rhythm? That's right. You went across the diagonal. Ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. There's a fun game I like to play called Messy Melody, where I clap a row from the grid, but I make a mistake. And the children's job is to listen to the rhythm I play and see if they can find the mistake. For example, I'm going to play row two. I want to see if you can guess the mistake that I make. Ready? One, two, ready, go. What was the mistake that I made? Let's hear it again. One, two, ready, go. Did you get beat two? That's right. What did I play? I played T T. I played and what's written? Ta. One beat. No matter what age you're working with, messy melody works great with some kind of puppet. So I'd like to introduce you to my friend Sock Monkey. Sock Monkey's gonna help us with this activity. Now, Sock Monkey's gonna play the rhythm in row three, but he's not so good at reading music. So I want you to kindly and gently correct him. He's gonna play the melody and he'll probably make a mistake. See if you can find out where the mistake was in Sock Monkey's playing. Ready, Sock Monkey? Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. 
Was that the right melody? Did Sock Monkey play the right melody? Let's hear it again. One, two, ready, go. That wasn't quite the right melody, was it? Sorry to break it to you, Sock Monkey, but that melody was actually ta, ti, ti, ta, rest. And you played ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Let's play it the right way, okay, Sock Monkey? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. That's right. Good job, Sock Monkey. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hit him a little hard there. Now, there's a fun dictation activity that you can do called Post Office. What you do is you take an envelope like this, you take your little rhythms off the wall, put them in the envelope. Easier said than done. Once the cards are in the envelope, hand the envelope to a group of children. Then, clap a rhythm. The children's job is to then take the rhythm cards out of the envelope and assemble them in the order of the rhythm that you clapped. You could have three groups of children, each with their own envelope, and you clap a rhythm and they have to assemble the rhythm. You can do all of these activities with the whole class in the gathering, or you can just invite a small group of four to eight children to do the activity with you during the work cycle. All of these activities, by the way, plus many, many more, are featured in the book Making Music in Montessori, which is out now and which is available at links in the description below. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell for notifications for when future videos come up. And have a great time making music in Montessori. See you in the next one.